and welcome to Quit the Conventional, a series where we ask people the question, is it okay to quit? This is Livewire, and I am Aisha Nassim. Who better to kick things off than the ultimate I Can Can lady herself, a Palestinian-American comedian, Miss Mason Zayed, who has quit conventions in the most amazing way possible. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Kale, quinoa, old thing, crap. What keeps you going every day? Kale. Kale? I love kale. I eat kale by the bunches like a bunny rabbit. Kale totally keeps me going. Okay. Yoga keeps me going. And Doritos keep me going. You always say, I can, can, you can, can. Does yes. that apply to quitting as well? Yes, it does apply to quitting. And okay. it's really important for people to... Th there's another thing that I say on stage, other than... You know, if I can, can, you can, can. I yeah. also say, if your dream turns into a nightmare, find another dream. dream. Yeah. One of the strongest things that you can do is mm -hmm. decide that something is not for you. So one of the things I always say is, yes, I say you can do it. Yes, you can, can. But that doesn't mean you should go perform open heart surgery if you've <laughs> never been trained. Yes. So can, can applies to things you can actually do. do. Being a Palestinian American, person with disability, and a person from New Jersey. So you've quit a lot of conventions that go mm -hmm. with it. Why did you do it? I mean, and then you jumped to comedy. Because I never identified myself as any of those one things. I was always a combination of all of them. Okay. So I think whenever one aspect got overwhelming, the other aspect would take right. over. Right. So if I was sick of being a woman because there's so much violence and patriarchy, right. the Palestinian in me fought the power and freed me. <laughs> if I got a little too privileged because I'm from New Jersey, the CP reminded me right. of who so I am. Yeah, right. they check and balance each other. Five things a person with CP can do that we don't know about. It depends on the person with CP. Okay. CP is a spectrum, okay. so it manifests itself differently mm -hmm. in every one of us. Some of us are nonverbal, right. some of us are walkers, some of us are wheelchair users. Right. In my case, I shake all the time. People with CP can learn, they can okay. be educated, right. um, they can love, they can get married. They can have children. Right. Uh, CP is not genetic. It's not passed from right. generation to generation. But even if it was, that would be okay. People with CP can wear fierce makeup. Yes. Oh, really <laughs> good at uh, wearing makeup. Yes, and high yeah. heels. And um, people with CP can be uh, jerks. We're not all happy snowflake angel right. babies going straight to heaven. Some of us are real jerks. Okay. If your name was a word in a dictionary, what would it mean? It would mean lemur because Maysoon literally means little monkey, specifically a lemur, oh, like okay. the Yeah. All right. Um, then we checked the wrong reference because it meant somebody with a very beautiful walk. Right. So sure. I think it was a different That's language. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I love the fact that someone said that Maysoon means beautiful walk considering I limp through life. Okay. So three favorite phrases in Arabic that you in want to Arabic? teach. In Arabic? Yeah. Inshallah. I love okay. mashallah. Mashallah. I love, um, let's see, satah istahach, which means I hope you're stabbed to death, but in a loving way. And bamut alej. Bamut alej. I'll die for you. Oh, that's so sweet. So either I'll stab you to death or I'll die <laughs> for, for you. you. Mashallah. This is your AUH Abu Dhabi debut. What is your dream destination? I don't know. I've done a lot of my dream destinations because I've done Jerusalem and I've done Beirut. Yeah. I'd like to go to New Zealand because of the hobbits. The hobbits, of course. Yeah. I like being taller than everyone. Yeah, I, I like the idea of that too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are your pet peeves? Uh, the sounds that telephones make when they get a WhatsApp or a tweet or a message, the bloop bloop sounds oh on telephones. God. It's a little Can't thing. Can't stand that. Cigarette, <laughs> I'm not the only one. <laughs> cigarette smoking and, and residual cigarette smoke mm -hmm. stench and um, liars. Yeah. Speaking of pets, why Beyonce? Beyonce. Yes. So, I'm a, I'm a cat person. I had cats my entire life. And my first cat was named Tiger because I was five and unoriginal. All my cats <laughs> after okay. that were named after women, either as characters in movies okay. or actresses who inspired me. So I had a cat named Cherry after oh, the girl in The Outsiders. I had a cat named Sandy 
after the, the woman in Greece, and then I had Lucy, and Lucy yes. was Lucy. my kitty for 17 years. Wow. So um, my Twitter bio says Lucy's mom. Lucy's mom, and people yes. People always ask me about my kitty, and Lucy, <laughs> yeah. like she died. I know. <laughs> she she was 17. She was named after Lucille Ball, who was like a great comedian. So then I wanted to name Beyonce Dolly after the okay. great Dolly Parton, right. but. I was playing with names, and when I said Beyonce, she like perked up, and I was oh. like, Beyonce? And then I decided that <laughs> she, she was just Beyonce. She really did. Because I tried Dolly, and she didn't react at all. <laughs> and then I thought of naming her Sabha, and oh. nothing happened. No. And then I said Beyonce, and, and she, she perked up. I'm telling you, she knew it was her name. And I love Beyonce. I, I find Beyonce to be very inspirational. I think she's an incredible artist. Right. As a performer, I aspire to have her energy and her joy. I really think that she's a game changer for women in performance. Right. So she's the ultimate performer. No. no. That's Oprah. That's Oprah. Yeah. Okay. High five on that. Low five. Low five. Doesn't matter. matter. It's a five. <laughs> it's a five. What's a cheap thrill look like for you? A cheap thrill? Yeah. For me, it's when the signal turns green and I'm driving and I'm the first car out. So I feel really good about I'm not it. Not cheap. Yeah, nothing cheap. Che there's nothing cheap about me. Nothing no. cheap thrills me. <laughs> Why did you agree to meet with us? Because you were so cool on Twitter and I felt so bad oh, for you. Oh, thank you. you. And <laughs> what's so really, yeah, and what's really funny is on Twitter you come across as male. So um, when I saw that you were a woman, I was like, okay, dude, we have to do this. <laughs> okay, dude. She's not creepy. Let's no. do this. The next question was impression about me, but I think we do already really answered want that. An impression? Yeah, sure. Super, super stylish. Oh, thank you. Um, hiding your nerves well. Oh, thanks. And destined for greatness. Thank you so much. You do a weekly vlog, right? Advice that you don't want to hear. Yes. What's the advice that you want to give to people that they don't want to hear? Don't ask anyone if they have children or if they're pregnant. It's none of your damn business. Um, this has troubled me on a personal level. Should people who have disabilities be called disabled, differently abled, or there's a better term for we it? We believe in saying the word disabled because there's no shame in being disabled. Okay. And our needs are not special, so no, I yeah, don't like being yeah, yeah. called special needs because our needs are just needs. They're not special. Differently <laughs> abled sounds like some sort of superpower, so I feel like I should be able to scale buildings or see through people's clothing. So we're just <laughs> disabled, and <laughs> it's it's not a negative thing. It, it's a fact of life. A fifth of the population right. is disabled, and I think that when we say the word, we empower those who are labeled. I'm Asun Zayed, and I quit the conventional.